So um, the primary goal of us participating in this project is that we've been actually asked uh, by the Ecology Centre here to collect some of the information and to provide it back to them. So a number of different groups are, are it's planned that they'll actually visit the site. And so hopefully some of the data and the, and the information that we've collected will be on display here for, for other people to understand uh, the importance of this wetland and, and all of the differences that are here. Okay. We are at One five five. Right there. Right there. Right there. Uh, the has sort of two major components. Uh, there's a marsh area which is closest to us here, and then further behind us is actually a treated swamp area. And so we've had our students uh, doing plots in both of those different areas. So different species will be found in those two areas, and they'll basically tell us where the marsh part of the wetland is. I'm trying to think at the other point we didn't go actually at the culvert. We kind of got the actual wide points. What plot is this called, Nicole? Um, call it East Brit. Their, a part of their um, program in different areas. Uh, this is the very first year we've actually introduced what we've called our freshwater environments course within the forestry program. So we had a number of forestry students in previous years who expressed interest in doing uh, water related work and there's a, a bit of a call for knowledge on water in their program and some of the areas that they want to get employment. So we added the freshwater environments class to their program. They've um, actually looked at a number of different species, so basically uh, they've looked at one meter plots where they are uh, put down a plot and then look at all of the different species that are found within that plot. And then as well, uh, I've asked them to also collect some information related to um, any flora and fauna. That but we also had uh, one group also doing some chemical testing and some physical testing as well. So looking at dissolved oxygen levels in the water, what the pH might be, some very simple stuff um, for us to be able to monitor basically the watershed and use some of those parameters and look at those over time. Obviously wetlands are really important. Many people know uh, that they're a good filtering system. Uh, they also sometimes are used for storing water and obviously they support a number of different species. Um, this wetland complex, this part that we're working on here is actually part of a much larger complex, the wetland which extends up as well as down. And so this is a very small piece of that complex that we're looking at, but obviously it's uh, really critical.